Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we are doing out of box shooting review of Glock 17 Gen 5. The box is pretty simple, made of cardboard, so let's open it. Alright, so here we have it as it came, so let's open it for the first time. Alright, so the packing is pretty simplistic. Okay, here is the airsoft replica by itself. Here are some papers, Glock 17. Okay, some manual, some, some parts list. Okay, basic manual, how to operate with magazine. This is interesting because the hop-up is set uh, without need of disassembly of the gun. So that's a really cool feature. Okay, how to disassemble the gun. How to operate the gun. Okay, so pretty good manual. Here is, uh, what is here? Okay, probably nothing important. And what is in the packing? Ah, okay, we have one Allen key for setting the hop-up. Cool. So let's check the replica right now. Let's check the replica right now. Okay, so there is some silicone oil. Okay, so we will clean it. Okay, magazine fresh brand new okay so let's clean it all right so i just cleaned the excessive silicone oil from the gun but look at it i think it looks cool it's very nice replica i must say feeling in the hand is really cool it is slightly updated compared to the gen 4 for example the grip and also the front of the pistol is slightly different like there is chamfer so it gets to the holster more easy but generally it looks nice, like all of the Glocks. But I must say, this Humorex Glocks looks nice and feels nice. Because this is official replica, uh, it has official markings. It has markings on bo both sides, like there is an uh, officially licensed product of Glock. So that's really cool features. Glock logo here, Glock logo there, markings. Okay, really nice. From the features, we have here trigger with integrated safety. Trigger works really nice you have smooth and simple initial travel then you hit the wall and then it's really crisp and clicky release then after cycle uh, you can really feel uh, the reset and then again simple easy smooth click i like it i really like the trigger it's really cool it's not heavy uh, and it clicks nice also you can really nicely feel the reset so i really like it yeah, really cool. TV we have here mag release button, which is big. And we have here a slide release button here. Here is the lock button for uh, locking the slide. What I can see also is that front side is a little bit bigger. Sides uh, have white dots, so that's really cool. I like that. Let's load it with gas and BBs. We will shoot the target in distance of 20 meters. I will use 0.28 gram BBs. It will be first shooting out of this Glock, so let's check it. Here is cool feature regarding the Umerex Glocks that the inlet valve is hidden behind of this cover. You will not lose this cover because it's locked by this pin and you unlock it uh, with this slide. So you slide it here and now you can open it. That's really cool feature, I love that. So let's feel it. Okay, five seconds is enough. Just for your information, VE magazine from Glock 17 doesn't fit. The gas route is different, so it would not seal properly. So I would say it is not natural fit. We have loaded the mag with uh, gas and BBs. Uh, if I count correctly, there are 24 BBs. What I like about this mag already is that the loading windows is wide on a long distance. So it's not like one hole for loading, but you can load it really, really for a long time easily. This is a really cool feature, I like it. We've got loaded magazine, we've got our Glock 17 Gen 5. 
so let's shoot it. First shot from this Glock 17 Gen 5. I'm aiming for the center of the torso. Okay, I think it's shooting a little bit low, so let's adjust the hop up. You got here the align key, so really simple adjusting. Okay, five clicks would be enough. Okay, so let's shoot it again. Aiming for the center. Okay, we are still low. Let's add some more hop up. Okay, it looks like right now it's on maximum. Okay. Aiming for the center. Okay, it looks like it works in opposite direction, so let's do it opposite. Okay, this is like maximum, so a little bit less. Okay, let's do it. Aiming for the center. Nice. It's too much. Let's undo it a little bit. One, two, three. Three clicks. Like I'm hitting, but still too much. One, two, three. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, now it looks nice. Okay, so let's load it again. All right, the next Mac, let's shoot it. Aiming for the center of the turtle. Shooting a little bit right. I will add just one click of hop up. Okay, now it looks much better. So let's load third magazine. Now I think the hop setting is right, so let's load third magazine. All right, the third magazine. All right, so we got here our Glock 17 Gen 5. So let's check the results on the target. On the beginning, I was hitting the lower part of the target. I would say I expected something a little bit better. It was caused by a setting of a hop up, so it was probably completely turned off from the beginning. Then when we played with hop up, it was going up, as you can see, because I added too much hop. It took us three magazines to set it correctly. I think the final setting which we made was good. What is really cool, that hop up setting is really easy with LN key from outside. You don't need to disassemble your slide. With third magazine, with correct setting of hop up, I was hitting in this area, what is in my opinion, very good for out of box performance of this replica. We have loaded 0.2 gram BBs right now. We are using standard green gas. So let's chrono it. Okay, the chrono is not taking the reading. Zero point two gram BBs, standard green gas. From 19 BBs measured by this chrono, you could see the performance was nearly the same all the time. So I really like it. I really like when the replica is consistent and for GBB pistols, it is really rare because GBP pistols tend to start on high performance and then dropping each shot. But as you could see, this Glock 17 Gen 5 was pretty consistent from first shot to the last shot. For performance out of box, this is nice reading with no tuning, performing out of box really well. I like it. All right, so we took this Glock 17 Gen 5 out of box and as you could see, it performed really well. 
Accuracy out of the box of this replica is pretty good. It started bad, shooting really low, but the hop-up was turned off. With correct setting of hop-up, it's shooting pretty nice, I like it, so really good accuracy out of the box. Performance out of the box of this replica is pretty cool. It's consistent and I like it. That is all what you need from your GBB pistol to be consistent out of the box. And what is great is the trigger. What I like is that the hop-up setting is really easy and simple. We have been shooting 0.28 gram BBs and it was hopping them easily. Only thing which I don't like about this Glock is that it doesn't have thread on the barrel. So only negative thing about this because VE Glocks have it. So I really miss it on this one. This Glock looks pretty nice, it's built well, it feels good in the hand, it's not rattling much, so I really really like this GBB. Alright guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Now I'm going to shoot it more. Let's dump the mic really fast. Okay, cool. All right, I love it. Pretty consistent and you can dump whole Mac. Nice. Okay, really nice, I love it. All right, check this. I have dumped the mag to it, I have shot multiple magazines to it, and as you can see, pretty much nearly everything landed on the torso of this target. And I was shooting from distance 20 meters. So I think really good accuracy out of box. Guys, you saw me shooting, you could see I didn't care too much, I dumped the mag, I shot in fast pace, and as you can see, pretty much everything landed on the target, so I really like it. I think really good accuracy of the box. What do you guys think? I really like that this Glock 17 Gen 5 is performing really well out of the box. The shots are pretty consistent and accuracy is cool. I like that. You guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.